Good morning and greetings to us all in the name of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. Welcome once again uh, to all who are joining with us uh, this morning for this morning's devotion on this uh, Thursday, the 25th of uh, September 2020. It's good to see you and God bless you and may you be encouraged today. Our devotion is in three ways, in song, in word, and in prayer. And the song is number 44 that's in our hymn book, Holy Spirit, hear us. Holy Spirit, hear us. Help us while we sing. Breathe into the music of the praise we bring holy spirit prompt us when we kneel to pray nearer come and teach us what we ought to say holy spirit shine thou on the book we read gild its holy pages with the light we need holy spirit give us each a lowly mind Make us more like Jesus, gentle, pure, and kind. Praise be to God for the words of that lovely hymn. Holy Spirit, hear us. Today, the verse that I'd like to share with us comes from the Gospel of John, chapter 14, and verse 16 are these words. And I will pray the Father, and he will give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. And it reads again, And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. The theme that I have chosen for us today is this God's Spirit is given to help you I said again God's Spirit is given to help you so we are not alone we know from God's Word uh, from the book of Acts the Holy Spirit was given to give them power and that's what we see in the book of Acts that they were filled with the Holy Spirit but that enabled them to have power in other words the Spirit of God filled them with strength and that's why they were able to do what they did you and I cannot live the Christian life without his Spirit we need his Holy Spirit he enables us. He's the one who does things in and through us. The word that is used uh, in our verse today, it reads again, And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter. That word comforter sometimes can be translated as counselor or even helper. So, you know, God's Spirit is given to us to help us. In fact, that word comforter comes from the Greek word parakletos, and it means one who comes alongside of us to help or to counsel us. That is what he will do, whether to support or to give you strength, but it is to help you. And so we can see the work of the Holy Spirit in the words of the song that was sung. Holy Spirit, hear us. 
You know, God moves by His Spirit. And so in that psalm, for example, God's Spirit will help us in our singing. You know, it's not like something like you, you just sing by yourself. The Spirit actually moves us and helps us and guides us. Even in the other verses where it says that it's actually the Holy Spirit that prompts us, makes us to pray. And even it's the Holy Spirit that actually gives the words for us to say. He's actually helping us while we're praying or even thinking of what to say. In one of the other verses that, we, that was sung, in regards to the reading of the Word of God, you can't just read it like that. In fact, the Spirit of God will give you understanding. Me by the prayer, open mine eyes, that I may behold the wondrous things out of thy holy word. Here, yeah. he will give you understanding. Because you've requested. And so, you know, the Spirit, one of the main works of the Holy Spirit is to make you, make you holy. Again, in one of those verses, make us like Jesus, gentle, pure, and kind. That doesn't just happen just like that. But the Holy Spirit is the one who helps us. And helps us to choose and do that which is right. You know, today... We all need the help of the Holy Spirit in our lives, in our homes, in our workplaces, in our schools, in our communities, and in our nation, and throughout the whole world. It doesn't just happen, but we need to allow Him to take His place so that we are led and guided by the Spirit of God. You know, we're not alone. God never meant for us to be alone, but... He's given an helper by His Spirit who will help us. Is anything bothering you today? Are you troubled? Are there issues that you're dealing with and you're not quite sure? You're feeling very heavy? Or is it a health issue that you're struggling with? Or could it be financial problems? You need God's help. But the verse of today reminds us that if we pray to the Father, he will give another, he give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we want to acknowledge your presence with us today. We thank you, God, that you have kept us safe throughout the night to this new day. Thank you, too, for your word. Thank you for reminding us that you have given us your Holy Spirit to be our helper in the different situation and circumstances that we are in. But Lord God, in all things, you are there alongside of us to support and to help us. Thank you, O God. As, as we come to this new day, we commit our lives into your hands. For our children going to school, for our people going to work, for those at home, wherever they may be, in whatever situation, Go before us, Lord God. We ask for your hedge of protection, your angel sign, but also your covering to be upon each and every one of us throughout this day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Once again, thank you for joining uh, with us this morning. Uh, I understand the Auckland will be moving to a level two uh, by the end of uh, uh, tonight. But uh, for the rest of, of the country, already uh, on level one. Keep on obeying the rules. Uh, God bless and take care.